Hey gang, Primal Punch here, Django here, coming at you with a do-it-yourself hack for fixing your faulty fuel door, the, the door to your fuel cap, the little deal that's locking. So, what you're going to need is a clothespin, more specifically the spring from the clothespin. Okay, so hold on, let me see, I got you a nice... Look, I got you guys a comfy chair for a change. Scoots the cushion back. Make sure you got everything in view. Leave it, leave it, goofball. Amy, just leave it. Good girl, good girl. Okay. So, when the little door, the, the spring breaks in there, okay? And what I've done is taken just a normal spring I need to get you a better angle. It looks like the sun's right in your right in your darned eyes. There, how's that? How's that, gang? Sorry about that. Make sure you can see. Yeah, you're looking right at it. Good deal. So, you just take your spring. Super simple, okay? You see how these fuel doors, the the little cat, uh, the the door is always made where it's uh, pressed in two pieces. All right, you see that it's folded around the edge, around the other, maybe some spot welds. Amy, just leave it. So you're gonna go ahead and take your spring. Make sure I'm in the sun here so you can see. Look out, booger. All right, so we're gonna take that spring and you need to bend it against, okay? Because you want that flat edge on this uh, spring, okay? So we bend it against. You see what I'm doing? So we have these straight edges here because you need it to set flush when you attach it. And you really don't need much more than that just to pop that door open, okay? So I'm gonna put my new one in and now um, this is my wife's car and when it broke she was you know, just how, how are you going to get it? You pull the little deal and it's supposed to pop open. So she pulls the release lever, comes back, and it didn't pop open, so the lock re-engages. So she ended up having to stuff something under it and it's straining up, and then she had to pry this. And you see, she actually chipped her uh, paint a little bit because she used a, one of her keys. So we can avoid all that. Again, you don't need, need much. Just maybe, maybe a 45 degrees. And then just fit that in there. Find it, find it a place where it's going to be snug. And voila. All right. Problem solved. So I figured I would just share that with you guys. It's a quick little economical, efficient hack. Everybody has a clothes pen or at least knows somebody. I mean, they never more than like one degree of separation betwixt you and a clothespin spring, all right? So thank y'all for coming by. I appreciate you. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Yeah. Upper body workout that fit in your hand, all right? Steel Bender's Helper. All right, so anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by and hanging out with me, all right? You be good to yourselves because you're worth it and I dig you. You live free and punch hard, all right? Catch you later. Bye now.